Okay, now we're going to look at the method called levigation for separating particles of different size. Levigation is basically to suspend our powder in a water solution. And using time and gravity to separate the particles into their different levels of weight and density. So the heavy stuff will fall, the light stuff will remain suspended, and the medium particles will slowly fall out of the solution. So on examination here, we can see different layers. We can see at the very bottom, the heaviest. We can see a layer directly above that. It's much paler. And then we can see the milky blue water. We can see a distinct difference in the color of these very dense, heavier particles. Much more ultramarine blue, more of a red blue compared to this green blue. It's almost turquoise in here. So we can grade different colors and densities out of the azurite. But to hit the sweet spot, we're trying to kind of claim this color from our min mineral azurite. And to do that, it's about capturing a very specific size, uh, density and weight of the particle pigment suspended in the water. So, if I give this some turbulence, we can see the color changing. It's no longer that green color. It's back to being a true blue. The heavier stuff has already fallen out. And if I was to separate off this portion and let that settle, we can gather fine blue particles and use that for our paint. So that is levigation. We have our ground pigment and water in this jar. We swish it around. The heavy stuff falls out fast. The medium density particles remain in suspension for a little while. So we don't wait for long. Pour that out. Leaving the heavy stuff in this jar. Then, fairly quickly, we 
we pour our medium and light stuff out. Leaving the medium heavy stuff in this jar. So we've got the heavy stuff here, medium, medium heavy, then our medium and light in here. And what we do is we let this one just settle down a little bit for a minute or so. And then we go back. So I pour this out. I'm left with stuff in this third jar that will be a good density for paint. I can swish this around. And then we take it from the top. Round two. You can see how the pyrites, the more rocky pigment remains at the bottom. So we don't have to wait too long because what we're really trying to do is capture the middle and light stuff. And if we wait too long, our middle density pigment will also drop out. You can see how many rounds you would have to do to reclaim a large amount of pigment. This is the way with traditional approaches. Okay now, so as you can see we go here, 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 and then basically we can just pour this water back in here. Give it some turbulence and then back in here. And you see, we can just repeat this process over and over, and each time we're collecting more and more fine grade azurite pigment in here. Okay, last thing we're gonna look at is comparing the pigments between these different jars. So here's the first coarse jar. You can see it's really rocky. It's got a, a nice deep color, but it's like the consistency of it's like sand. You hear it, yeah? Okay, so now let's look at the second jar. a lot better. Final jar. 